guys, well this week I want to talk about the benefits of Amazon FBA. I know that I have you know, shared a lot of the issues that you face, the fact that you're at the most going to only get 30% of the sales that you make, and you know, really some of the issues that you face uh, around um, products to sell and, and all of those ins and outs. But today I really wanted to focus on some of the benefits and I wanted to talk about a little bit about my experience, why I really, you know, found benefit in doing Amazon and why I continue to do it and uh, kind of my background a little bit so you kind of know my journey. So if you've you know watched some of my other videos, you've known that I've had some different businesses. I started a coaching business um, about a year ago or so. Um, maybe it's been a little bit longer than that, but as you know, it takes you know years to build a business and. I was well aware of this. I knew that it would take me, you know, a long time to be able to really build that coaching business and I really needed funding. I didn't want to go out and get loans and do all that kind of stuff, but I needed a way to be able to, you know, grow it over time. And one of the things that I really loved about Amazon FBA was especially around the retail arbitrage was that it was a way to double my money pretty quickly, um, faster than a regular business, faster than doing, you know, a multi-level marketing type of a business, faster than, you know, a lot of the things out there. And I had some success on eBay and I still do. I still sell some stuff on eBay, but uh, I have found that it was easier for me personally to sell stuff on Amazon. So that's why I really, you know, initially got into it because I thought, wow, this would be a really great um, instant you know way to make some extra cash and I could learn more about it and you know offer and I thought about you know kind of offering these videos um, on my journey I didn't expect anyone asking me for coaching around it but that is kind of you know evolved and create I've created now my course and that I'm about to launch but anyway um, my background though uh, I had Amazon for a client for seven years so part of that was you know, also you know, kind of fueling me towards doing Amazon FBA because I already had that background. And I already knew from a business development sort of perspective of Amazon of where they're going and you know, kind of Jeff Bezos view on all of it. And so I felt like it was a good opportunity because I already had kind of that leverage and knowledge in that area. And then, in addition to that, while I was at um, a big four, I had professional training in business innovation, which included product innovation. And this is type of a training that was from the best of the best, and it's something you can't go out and just get. Uh, literally, you have to would have to spend millions of dollars with a big four firm in order to get you know this education and this knowledge, and so I was trained in this uh, from the perspective of helping you know clients, Fortune 500 clients grow, and so I was able to take that knowledge and apply it to Amazon, and. The other aspect about it is that because I know business innovation and how to grow your business through innovation in all areas, uh, I'm able to apply that as well. So those are kind of like the benefits that I personally had um, and leverages that I had in starting out. Um, so let's kind of get into some of the um, other you know, real benefits for you and some of the things that you might experience. I don't know about you, but you know, I've worked in the corporate world for, you know, years. I'm 45 years old, so I have seen multiple layoffs and I have seen situations where, you know, um, in my own life where I, you know, put all of my time and energy into a business and then, um, you know, you get laid off and then you have no income and you're scrambling and it, you take a hard hit financially. And I just got to a point in my life where I was done with that. I, I was done with allowing myself to be in a position where I didn't have multiple streams of income coming in and that I was solely relying on one source of income. And 
really as I've kind of gotten into the whole YouTube world, um, there's a lot of people on YouTube that have that same mindset where they are really about growing multiple streams of income. And to this day, I really, really strongly believe in it. And I think um, too, what kind of fed that was the fact that I was doing a nonprofits for so many years and people expect everything free. And you know, then you take a, I took a hard hit for that as well because I was always funding it myself. And with a nonprofit, you don't get to write things off like you do in a business. So it just made it, I just got to that point where I was like, I'm done. I'm, I'm done allowing myself to be in these different positions. And I don't know um, if you've experienced that, if you've been in a situation where you're just like, I'm done with you know being at high risk here or, or always being afraid that if I lose my job, what's gonna happen? And I think that sometimes that can even affect your performance. Um, and then on a totally flip side, as far as creating a business, I think that Amazon has some benefits that other businesses don't. So when you go and you start a business online, um, you know, it takes time to build up your clientele. It takes time to build clients. And I think that, you know, there's sort of this misconception across the board, really, when it comes to online business or it even comes to Amazon that everything happens overnight. And that's just not the truth, it's not the reality. Things don't happen overnight for the majority of people. Most people it takes a few years to build. But what I really love about Amazon is that um, at least with you know retail arbitrage and selling brands that already exist, it is a super easy way to make money or an easier way to make money um, building a business that way. And then with a private label, if you're able to invest in that and think of it as a long-term thing that you're going to gr grow your own brand and your own brand of products, I think that it's really awesome because um, long-term, it gives you that ability to work from anywhere. You can you know, be at a beach with your laptop and be working. And it just gives that flexibility. Now, again, it, there's not this get rich quick overnight scenario. That's just not the reality. Um, people that have succeeded in it um, have invested for years. And I just want to make sure that you guys really realize that um, and that a lot of the figures that are getting flashed out there are just really some young bucks that have big egos. <laughs> And I think that, you know, they just really want to be successful and they really define success as, you know, having these figures and the reality is, is their profit even isn't even close to the figures that they're flashing out there. And that's the other thing that I really wanted to mention today is that success is not making tons of money. Success is creating a life that you love and creating a day-to-day -day life that you love. And for some people, that's gonna be that you just wanna get out of debt. Some people, it's gonna be you want that security that if you lost your job tomorrow, that you would have something to rely on and you don't have to live in fear. Uh, for some of you, it's, you know, if I was honest, I didn't put any money away for retirement and I really need to you know, increase my investment. I think Amazon's a great way to really grow your money quickly and really get rid of that lost time. Um, it's a rare opportunity for that because if you're gonna go out, if you were to invest in the stock market, it's gonna take you a lot longer to grow your money than it would be if you invested in Amazon. Um, now again, it's not a quick turnaround. You have to keep on taking your profits and putting it back on the platform, much like you would an investment, but over time, you can grow that money. Um, and then for those of you that have a dream that you want to have your own brand, you want to be able to work from home or work from wherever you want to work, uh, I do really believe that Amazon private label and even doing retail arbitrage are really great options just because it gives you that freedom to work from anywhere. Now, retail arbitrage I think is a little bit more difficult because there's a lot more manual labor. You have to go out and get stuff or you have to order stuff, bring them into your home, sort through it all and then send it in. Where a private label, 
it's all being done for you and you really don't have to do a whole lot aside from you know selecting your product innovating that product building your business and that's the other thing I think a lot of people don't realize is that if you have a private label you really do need to build it um, and my definition of doing private label with Amazon is you know like being like Nike or Ann Taylor and you create a product with your brand name on it and that is a representation of the quality of products that you present to the world. That's your brand. That's what you're going to sell to the world and you're going to build that business. A lot of people just see it as just throwing something out there, putting a label on it and trying to sell it. And I think that they're really selling themselves short because um, really if you're able to invest long term in a business that has products uh, and grow that brand overall and grow that online you're going to be far more successful so um yeah i really just feel like amazon has so many different benefits for so many different in individuals and i've seen people that um you know started out with ten dollars and grew their retail arbitrage business to millions um it, as far as sales go and then i've seen those who didn't private label and continue to make a really good living but again keep in mind these individuals have put years into the process and so um i'm almost done guys uh with with my course on private label I'm gonna be launching that at the beginning of February I'm gonna hold a webinar to tell you all about it and uh, if you watch my videos you know that I've never been really good at sales but guys I decided to step it up and just really give it a try and I want to thank you for being a part of my journey in growing and growing my coaching business and you know just even going about um, Amazon FBA and really, you know, utilizing all these different income streams and uh, really seeing what I could create in my own life. And uh, I'm really excited about it. And I am also continuing to write my book that I plan on publishing this year. And I'm really excited about that. And it is all focused on um, what what makes the one percent, the top one percent, the wealthiest in the world. What what have they done that have created success? And I'm using some people that I'm related to in that equation and really wanting to find that common thread amongst all of them that have made them successful. And so I'm really excited about that. Watch for more videos that I've um, produced for that book and um, to kind of give you an idea what it's all about. And I'm bringing you on my journey, my journey of discovering what really creates success in people's lives. Um, and um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. Thanks for watching my video and we'll see you next week.